Hi Gemini, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for June 2019. This month I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Ascendant, and Gemini Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And at the end of the reading, Gemini, just like I did last month in May, I'm going to pull a gemstone crystal for you from this bag of gems and get my spirit guides to give me the messages of why that gemstone would be the best gem for you to work with, carry, and use in the month of June 2019. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I do give descriptions of the tarot cards and from what a book definition would be. And then I psychically read the cards and my spirit guides give me the messages. I hear them clairaudiently. Sometimes I get visions mixed in and they sometimes don't match what the book definition of the card would be. It's going to be the same with the gemstone crystals. This month, instead of just reading the crystal psychically, I'm going to give you a little details uh, from a book that's very uh, informative about the properties and characteristics of the stone briefly. And then I'm going to read the stone psychically for you as to why that gemstone would be the best for you in June. So maybe you know it would match up with what you know to be true for gems and your sign but it's going to be what comes up here today and what my guides say is what i'm going to recommend to you so all that being said gemini now on to your june 2019 psychic tarot reading first card you have gemini is the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles is a card that symbolizes Mastering your craft, mastering your skills, focusing on your work. It could be expanding a business, expanding. Uh, you could have more job duties uh, being put on you by your job. Um, so you have to see it's focusing on craftsmanship and attention to detail. And you're making money from it. You're making good money. I do feel that many of you Geminis are going to be pouring a lot of your energy onto into a project or plan that is work involved. And if you're a non-working Gemini, then this would be something that you're working on in your home that maybe would upgrade your home in case you ever want to sell it um, or just, you know, to keep it nice. But for many of you, this is actually a work, uh, some, some intense thing you're doing for work and you have to pour all your energy into it. I do feel that many of you Geminis are going to feel under the pressure of time. So maybe your bosses or the CEO, the higher ups, the owners, whoever it is, uh, are pressuring you because there could be a deadline you have to meet. Um, and if you're, if it's to do with a home or work project, maybe it's because summer's coming. Uh, if you're in the Northern hemisphere, you want to get something done and ready before it gets really too hot to do the work or, or whatever. Or if you're in the Southern hemisphere, maybe you need to repair roofs and things to protect you from the snow and, you know, heavy winds and rain. Some of you are going to be, some of you Geminis are going to really be getting interested in a specific area of work or a point of focus that you're going to get really into and want to expand and develop. And this does have to do with your work. So it could be, could even be if you own your own business, maybe there's some aspect of your business that you, you know, were sort of toying around with it a little bit. And now you're like, you know what? I really want to pour my energy into that. So I'm going to focus on it and really expand it, enhance it and make it grow or have it become a more important part of your business. And you might be like really tight lipped about it. Maybe you're not going to share this, uh, you know, with people, um, especially if you deal with the public or it's a bit your own business. 
you may not want to tell people this is what you're doing you may just want to like spring it on them one day and be like look you know here's what I was working on behind the scenes and I didn't want to talk about it till I had all the polish and finish on it um, and even it, it could be even if you're a non uh, working if it's like something you're doing a project you're working on or doing at home you may not want to let the cat out of the bag to other people you may just want to do it and then maybe you're getting ready for a party or people to come over to your home and you're like I'm not saying I'm changing this I'm not telling people I'm building this gazebo I'm not telling people I'm re you know putting in a new walkway or pavers around my gardens or whatever and you're just People are going to come over and be like, wow, wow. Like, I, I get this feeling of you want to keep some things under wraps here. And a lot of this energy you're putting into this is because, especially you, if this is involving work uh, or your own business, that this will increase your income. Either you think you're going to get a raise in your salary, hopefully, or a bonus, or a commissions check, or it could be uh, more customers, more sales, things like that. So next card you have could be you, Gemini. You have the King of Swords. Now the King of Swords is an, er, an air sign, male or female, but it's a king. So it may be more likely to be a male. This would be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. Could be you, Gemini, here in your own reading. There is somebody that you're doing a lot of communications with back and forth. It could be texting. It could be on Facebook. It could be on a combination of things. It could be phone communication, emails, but a lot of back and forth between you and an air sign. I do feel like this is a separate person than you or it's you, but there's someone else you're communicating with. If they're not an air sign, this could be representative of you. You may feel like in a bit of a quandary about them. You don't, may not know really what's going on with them, what, what's on their mind, what they're contending with in their life. Uh, not that they're being deceptive to you necessarily, it's just that for some reason you have some questions I feel about this King of Swords or you're the King of Swords and this person you're communicating with is who you are have question about. You may feel like the person you're communicating with is a little bit elusive. They, they may be, you may feel like they're not telling you everything or you may feel like there's more to the story. Maybe in your communication, you're like, yeah, there's more to this picture. There's more to this story. I feel like they're being elusive. Um, and it may start, you know, getting in your head. Like you may be like, what are they up to? What are they doing? Uh, what are they, what's really going on with them? Maybe you're worried about them even. You could be, could be somebody you have some concern about and you possibly may feel like they're just not telling you everything. You know, and I do feel like this other person is thinking about you a lot. And I feel like they have a lot of questions in their mind about you. And they may be wondering what's going on exactly with you. And maybe they would, you know, I don't know that they think you're being elusive so much, but I do feel that you're on their mind and they are thinking about you and kind of wondering what's going on with you. So, uh, but not in the same way you're doing it. It's like, uh, it's kind of like mirrored, but not exactly. They're, theirs is more like you're on their mind. You're thinking, they're thinking about you. They're wondering what's going on with you. You've got like, you feel like there's more, uh, more going on than meets the eye and that some things are elusive or shrouded in mystery to you about the person you're communicating with. And for many of you, it is an air sign person. For some of you, as I said already, this King of Swords is you, but it could be the other person as well. You may even feel like uh, the person you're communicating with is going around in circles in some way in their head or in their actions and you may look at them like I don't think they really know what they're doing or maybe you think they don't know really what they want or both 
So the next card you have here is the moon, and this can be secrecy and deception and romance. It can be secrecy by itself, romance by itself. It can also be illusion, like be careful. There could be something that's an illusion right now going on. Uh, it could also be indicating your own psychic ability and intuition is kicking up in June 2019. In some ways, Gemini, I feel like you feel a little bit out of place. I feel that you feel a little bit like you're a fish out of water and that you may want to feel settled at peace and fit into something. But what is it you want to fit into? A new job? A new love relationship? Uh, a new, some other type of scenario? A new business? that you start, I don't know, but there's something that I feel like you want to feel settled and content, but I don't feel that you feel like all the puzzle pieces have fit in for you yet. At least not in June. You may take a trip. You may take a trip and get away and travel because I get, I got to get away. I got to, I got to travel. I got to get away. And this may be to help you get clarity or to clear your head or to, you know, I don't know. It sounds like you've been working hard and then you're having communication with someone that you're a little bit like uncertain about, like what's, what's going on with them. Maybe all of that combined is just like, okay, I need to get away from the whole entire ball of wax and, you know, chill. That may be the feeling you have here. And I really do feel like, Gemini, you know there's something changing in you or something getting ready to change in your life and you can feel it. It's like you're on the cusp of some kind of change. And the moon is showing me like, it is like your intuition, but it's not necessarily your intuition. I guess it is intuition, but to me, it's more like a feeling. You can feel it which is intuition, I guess you could say. Um, you know you're on the precipice of change in June. Even though the, it's maybe cloudy or uncertain or you may not be clear what exactly how that change is going to play out for you, but you're on the cusp and edge of it in June. If you take a trip, I do feel there's good going to be a good camaraderie of spirit. Um like a real coming together. You may, it may even be like a spiritual trip. If any of you like have ever taken any uh, um, spiritual retreats, I've done that once and I really, really enjoyed it and I would like to do it again. Uh, but it was far, I live in New Jersey and it was in Scottsdale, Arizona. And it was, it's a little hard for me to get away with my situation with my son and my dog. and. Uh, my older son, uh, you know, my kids are older, but anyway, to get off of me there on this story, um, it could be that you have a sp spiritual, like it's a, if it's not you going on a spiritual retreat, I feel the trip you take actually turns out to be a spiritual journey, even if that's not what you intended it to be in the beginning. So the next card you have here is the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles could be financial bankruptcy, emotionally feeling bankrupt. It could be two people feeling depressed. It could be you and your partner. Um, this, there could also be some area where you need to look at your finances and pay attention to them. And maybe you're not focusing on them enough. Like maybe you have some issues with your money and, and you're just not, you haven't focused on it and you need to more. I feel like you may be trying too hard to make something happen. And uh, it's like, I feel like the universe wants to give you the message that you need to relax and not build castles uh, in the air. Um, you need to, like, I would advise you from what I'm getting here that it's taken you a long time to build something solid to build your life solidly. And it's gonna be best for you to move forward in what feels grounded and solid. If anything feels too pie in the sky and doesn't have enough grounded energy for you, cause you are an air sign and I'm an air sign too. So I understand this. Um, 
it might be like you don't want to undo the work that you've done. You don't want to undo the strides that you've made. So anything that seems too fanciful pie in the sky and ungrounded, you just have to wait. You'll have to be relaxed and not try to push things forward. Because first of all, you don't want to stress yourself out. And you don't want to feel like things you've worked hard for are unraveling. So best to take a relaxed approach in June. You could have some family member that's actually going to be giving you some problems about money. They may want to borrow it from you or maybe they borrowed it from you and they're not paying you back uh, or they're, you know, or they've taken money from you, or they could be doing something else in regard to money around you. Now, for many of you, I do feel that was a family member. It could be a friend. It could be, um, I doubt it's a work associate. This really feels like it's a family member if you have any uh, issues where money crops up for you. Because there's someone in your life, uh, family, I feel, that you can't take them on their word about in regard to money. I, I just don't feel like you can. It, f it feels to me like you're not, if they borrow it, you're not going to get it back. If they owe you, know, owe you money for something else, you're never going to see it. So you just have to make sure if you're dealing with family or anybody like that uh, or a friend, just figure if you've given the money that it's a gift because I really don't feel like you're going to get it back. But that could be bothering you or cropping up in June or they may come ask you for more or try to impose on you in some way that would cost you money. The last card you have of your reading, Gemini, is Two of Pentacles and this is weighing your options. Having to make a decision or a choice between, between two things. Um, and there's emotions tied up here in this choice. You could also be seeking balance. It doesn't necessarily mean you're making a choice about money. It could be, uh, but it's making a choice, having to decide between two things or uh, seeking balance. Could even be wishy-washy thinking. Uh, you could feel wishy-washy about something in June. I feel like you're going to be the queen or king of the pros and cons list in June. <laughs> I see you going, well, what are the pros if I do this? And what are the pros if I don't? What are the cons if I don't do it? I mean, you know, pros and cons if I do it, pros and cons if I don't. I do feel June is going to be a bit of an emotional month for you, Geminis. And I feel like you are going to be swept away in uh, your emotions are going to be getting the better of you. And, you know, um, I, I'm not sure if this is true for Gemini. I suspect it is, but I know, uh, you know, Aquarians uh, tend to think with their, you know, not with their heart, with their mind, although it depends on your rising sign and your moon sign. You can't really go by that. But, you know, maybe there's some similarities between Gemini and Aquarius, but I'm going to tell you right here, uh, you may have a tendency to... Either your head is going to get the better of you and it's going to be working overtime or you're going to get swept away on emotions in June. And a lot of it is going to be about how you play something out. It could be how you handle a romantic situation or a romantic partner that you're intertwined with uh, or someone you meet. It could also be about what you're going to do in some regard in your work situation and in your business. Uh, like what, you know, maybe there's some like pressing choices you're being confronted with in June. I do feel like you're going to resist your urges though. I feel like you're extremely strong willed when you want to be. And so if you're like uncertain and there's some urge to splurge or some urge to get deeply involved with somebody or some urge to make gigantic leaps and strides with your business, you may, or work, you may uh, have really good resistance about it. And you know what? That might be the wise thing to do in June because I don't know the actual dates when Mercury goes retrograde. I believe it's in July. But therefore, then the uh, shadow phase is going to start in June. 
And sometimes I find, I don't know about you, Gemini, but sometimes I find the shadow phase, I'm like well in, it's like, they might as well just say Mercury in retrograde started on the day the shadow phase started because sometimes that kicks me in the butt just as bad or worse than once it's really rolling along. So uh, you may be waiting out of good sense because you do have the card of illusion here. So anything you've got uncertainty about, anything, work, love, whatever, and you're wishy-washy about it, and you're weighing the pros and cons, and you're making your lists, and you're thinking about it, but your emotions are getting swept into it, um, I do feel like your self-control and your disciplined self is going to kick in and take over. I do. And by the way, Gemini, I am so sorry I forgot to say happy birthday to Gemini. I wish you a happy solar return, and I hope you have a fantastic year. So now I'm going to look into your uh, gemstone crystal, pull a gemstone crystal for you, and my spirit guides will say why this stone is good for you. So let's see. What's the stone that's the best for Gemini? to work with, meditate, carry, sleep with under their pillow, put in their bra, put on their chakras. Gemini for June. What's the best crystal for Gemini for June? Oh, you have lapis. So you got lapis lazuli. So I'm going to read in the gemstone book I have a little description, not long, about why this stone is good for you. Uh, or why, what the properties are of the stone, and then I'm going to psychically read it why it's good for you for June 2019. So the properties of lapis lazuli are it's silicate of sodium, calcium, and aluminum with some sulfur. It's opaque with flecks of iron, iron, iron pyrite. Nick, I'm going to say that all over again. The properties of lapis lazuli, the type of stone is it's a silicate of sodium, calcium, and aluminum with some sulfur. It's opaque with flecks of iron pyrite. The color, it's rich medium to royal blue, violet blue, and azure, even greenish blue, sometimes mixed blues. The symbolic associations with lapis are the zodiac sign of Libra, the planet Jupiter, the element air, the guardian angel Sahakuel, and the third eye chakra. Lapis ins is inspiring for all night magic, especially under the stars and for psychic protection. Use it also for meaningful and prophetic dreams. The Sumerians believed that lapis lazuli contained the spirit of the deities. The ancient Egypt Egyptians also regarded it as the stone of the gods. It was partly because it reminded them of the starry heavens, but also because, as shown in the papyrus Ebers, lapis lazuli had medicinal properties that improve eyesight when worn in the form of the Eye of Horus amulet or powdered around the eyes. So now I'm gonna psychically read the Lapis Stone for you, Gemini for June, 2019. You're definitely gonna have a better sleep state. If you have issues with sleeping, I know the book talked about it could bring up prophetic dreams, but I also get aiding you in your sleep. It's also going to help you find lost objects. They're telling me anything that you need to focus on or find, even in written words or documents or, um, you know, objects you're looking for, it's going to help you because they said the words needle in a haystack. It's going to help you find that proverbial needle in a haystack in June. You're going to feel more peaceful and calm when the stone is around you. Uh, or you know what, if you could get a gemstone crystal with the beaded, the beads that go all the way around, that would be good because it would be on you all the time. But I believe uh, it's going to bring you calm, peaceful and calm in June. It's actually, this is interesting, they're telling me it's actually going to brighten your aura. So when you go places like business or 
dates or you know some important event and you want to really sparkle and shine and you know have people go wow what's up with gemini carry a piece of lapis or wear it a pendant or a crystal of lapis or around your bracelet or have it in your pocket and it's also going to bring you the most intense intense focus which is good because your card that came up as uh, three of pentacles in your reading it did talk about you really focusing on some area of your work and uh, maybe branching off in it or doing something with that in particular and really putting all your energy towards it this would be helpful for you when you're doing that kind of work so as always thanks for watching and please like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe that way you'll get notified when i upload my videos here to youtube and it's that time of year again gemini where i do my mid-year psychic tarot update where i pull five cards for you in a psychic tarot reading just like i do here on youtube to cover the time period from june 2019 until the end of this year of 2019 so if you're interested in getting those videos that link is down below in the show more section and you click on that link and it will take you to my vimeo videos on demand page for those mid-year 2019 psychic tarot update for each sign of the zodiac available for download and purchase and if you're interested in any of the other videos i have available those links are also below and you click on them and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. Recently, I just recorded Saturn and Pluto retrograde psychic tarot and oracle card reading where I pulled four cards using the Taramuka tarot deck and one card from the angels, gods and goddesses oracle deck. And I also did by request, I had several emails and comments below some of the videos and on Facebook asking me to do another career and finance video because I hadn't done one in a while. So I did career and finance, psychic tarot and crystal readings using the Aquarian tarot deck. That link is also below this video. And I also recently did past, present and future psychic tarot reading using the very powerful and interesting osha zen tarot deck and the jupiter in retrograde we have jupiter in retrograde now uh psychic tarot and crystal readings using the jane lyle renaissance tarot deck and those were really very interesting and quite quick and to the point and that was a new deck of cards for me Keep in mind, some of these planetary influences are going on for quite a while. This Saturn and Pluto retrograde, Pluto isn't going to go direct till October 3rd. Uh, Saturn, I think, goes direct at some time in mid-September. Uh, so these predictions have some time yet to them. So if you're interested in any of them, please click on the links below. Or you can always get these by going to my website, www theluckymermaid.com click on the videos tab on my menu and all my video series i have listed there you just go to the heading you want look for your sign under that heading click on that it will take you directly to that video on vimeo for download and purchase also if you would like to get additional psychic predictions and messages from me and my spirit guides that you're not going to see here on youtube you can follow me on facebook at the lucky mermaid llc and the psychic pastry chef llc and please check me out on instagram at the lucky mermaid underscore pam Georgell. and i post videos i there i also do use my crystal i give messages for, from my guides from using my crystal from the tarot cards from oracle cards and i don't post those here on youtube so you might want to check those out so i hope you have an absolutely joyous and jubilant june gemini that was a lot of j's and g's and know that i wish you many blessings and peace